can hear it creaking. <laughs> We're going up. Oh, that's way higher. Holy smokes. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you can get over some obstacles now. I have a, had a lot of you guys ask me, what do you think about off-roading with some of the other Jeep models? And my answer is usually, I don't know. I haven't checked any of them out. Welcome back to the channel, guys. My name is Casey, and well, White Rock Dodge has lent us this brand new 4xE Grand Cherokee for us to take a look at. What do you think of the Grand Cherokee? I'm gonna take you guys on a tour and walk around of it, and we'll talk about some of the specs and features. We'll check out the interior, talk about what engine's on it, and we'll talk about some of its off-road features that it has built into it. And helping us today, it's Beardo. Good day. <laughs> you haven't really seen this either, so no. I think we should explore it together. I think it'd be a lot more fun. <laughs> and uh, before we get started, guys, do me a huge favor, hit that subscribe button, help us get to 100,000 subscribers. So where should we start with this? Let's, should we talk about the, the power plant? What it, I mean, this is a four by E, right? So yeah. it's got a hybrid in there, right? It, it does, yeah, it's got some batteries. and uh... <laughs> Some batteries, like, <laughs> oh man. Well, we've reviewed the four by E Wrangler um, I think there's a 4xE Gladiator coming next year. We've got the 4xE Grand Cherokee, and look at this, up front, just like the Wrangler. Can we push this to open, or do we got, oh, we do, no, no button, there we go. Look at that, charging port right on the fen front, front, right on the front fender there. And uh, this is a beautiful spec, like all white. And this is an Overland Edition, so this comes with some additional cool off-road features like a disconnecting front sway bar um, and it has a four low system with it as well but uh, let's just talk a little bit about the power system uh, the hybrid power system um, so this has a two liter turbo four cylinder motor and i believe it's got we got a dog dog on set <laughs> <laughs> it's got the uh same two liter two liter turbo system with hybrid power plant as we've seen in the Wrangler. And the battery system in this is it has a 17 kilowatt. <laughs> Hello, I'm trying to make a video. <laughs> so it has a 17 kilowatt battery in it, which is supposed to give us around 42 kilometers of pure electric range, which is pretty cool out of uh, a large SUV like that. And that's plenty to get you back and forth to work every day. So you can charge this up at night and get your 42 kilometers of range uh, every day if you want. We've got the signature seven slot Jeep grill and look at this, we've even got some recovery hooks on here. Did we even see recovery hooks on the Bronco? I can't even remember. But we've got the uh, signature four by E blue here on the front recovery hooks. So this is good, if you get stuck you can uh, actually get out of some sticky situations. Now we've got some really large wheels and on this model, we don't have the all-terrain tires. We have the uh, regular tires. These are 265, 50 R20s, and, but you can actually spec this with all-terrain tires from the factory. And it does have an off-road suspension, which is pretty cool to see. So around the back, we've got the Overland badging, the 4xE badging, but we don't have any recovery points here on the back, but I assume, dog, we're trying, trying to shoot a video. I don't know whose dog this is. Um, but if we add a trailer hitch to this, we could add some recovery points to the back. What do you guys think of this pure white spec? It is super, super clean. We say, you wanna pop the hood on there, Beardo? Let's check out underneath, underneath the hood and see what we got. So there is our two liter turbo motor. Not too much to look at these days. A lot of plastic under the hoods, eh? I think we should check out the inside because just looking through the window, the interior is amazing in here. Look at this. Really stepping up the luxury in the Jeep brand, but beautiful interior. We've got a wood grain finish along the doors. All our controls here on the driver's door. And then we've got these really nice bolstered seats with perforated leather. I'm gonna guess these have heating and let's see, maybe they even have air conditioning. But we've got some Overland badging here on the back of the seat. Just take a look at how much room you get in the back and the trunk before we hop in and sit down. But we've got more controls down here, more perforated leather. We've got some really nice stitching on the seats. And it smells like a nice new vehicle. And in the back, we've got a power lift tailgate 
way more room than we have in the Wrangler. So you guys get an idea just how much cargo space we have in here. But this is huge, huge cargo area. And oh, this is great. So if you've got your fridge or anything, we've got uh, 12 volt DC here in the back. We have another, just a tie down. Oh, that's for fuel. What that's for? I wonder what that's for. Something for fuel. It's got a little fuel icon on it. I'm not sure what that's for. Look how much room is back there though, Beardo. I'm almost six feet and I got plenty of knee room. Yeah, there, check so. that out. Like we need a driver. Well, this is the newest over glamping is someone else drives us around. Here's a shot from the rear of the vehicle in this front driver's area. It's looking awesome, but I want to go play with all these buttons and knobs. So let's, let's hop in the front and see what we got. And then I think we'll just take it for a little spin after because I want to I want to see what the uh, hybrid powertrain is like and how much power this uh, this SUV off-road Overland Grand Cherokee hybrid has. What do we got in there? Some center console storage. Ooh, it's quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Quite a bit of space. Does the top flip apart too? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah, very much like the Wranglers. We've got a really nice center console here. Everything's hidden away and opens up. Oh, look at this. We got some controls. Rock, sand, mud, snow, auto, and sport. So I'm going to guess this is our uh, conditions, off-road conditions selector. We've got a push button, four-wheel drive low, hill descent, force it into neutral. What do you think this is for? I believe that is the airbags. Oh, we can lift it up? We can lift it up. What? Yeah. Okay. I didn't know that. That's cool. <laughs> Let's fire it up. Maybe that'll help with some of our ground clears. Are you were you driving around in low rider mode? I oh, think I was driving in, uh, in two. Yeah. I think this is parking mode, maybe. Up. There we go. Are we going up? I can hear it creaking. <laughs> we're going up. Is it an airbag system? I think so. Yeah. We're almost at the top level. Hey, that's cool. Hang on. Before we go through the rest of the dash, let's go check out the clearance in the front. Yeah. Oh, that's way higher. Holy smokes. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you can get over some obstacles now. Oh, okay, never mind. Wow, we don't need a lift. No. <laughs> Sorry, uh, if you have one of these, Epic Adventure Outfitters isn't going to need to lift it for you. Okay, wow, that's, uh, I didn't even know that had that. And if you guys uh, get stuck in some stuff, you've got several inches now of additional ground clearance. Look at the difference there. So check out the suspension. So it's got an off-road suspension under here. And uh, it is uh, not a solid front axle, so it's gonna drive a little smoother than a Wrangler or a Gladiator. That's super cool. I can't believe how much that lifted it up. Beard will hop in there and drop it down. So you can see just how high we are now. It's going down. Look at that. <laughs> it seems like it moves the front and the back and the front and back and front and back. Holy moly. Down now. <laughs> That's amazing the difference in height that makes. Wow. What a cool feature. These reviews are more of us like discovering things on the fly as we go. Okay, let's push some more buttons. What do we got here? Cup holders. Excellent. And then we've got a uh, rotary knob. I won't switch it into gear because we'll drive away. This is actually started. And then we can switch between auto, sport, rock, mud. Oh, it's raising itself up when you put it into the different off road modes. I think so, yeah. I can feel <laughs> cool off-road one right height achieved <laughs> for rocks so sand mud to enter rock shift to four low oh, oh did something yeah. all right now we're in rock mode switch to drive we're at the maximum height i want to see what this is like to drive in four low we'll just let's we'll roll forward real quick but it's still going up it's got a little warning on the dash telling it's still going up oh yeah that's uh much lower geared. Cool. I don't know about this rot rotating knob. We had issues with this in the Bronco too. We didn't like the rotating knob in the Bronco. So check out this camera as we back up. This camera is a uh, high detailed like we have on the other Jeeps and the Wranglers. This is a huge 10 inch screen. Let's, uh, let's take it out of to complete four wheel drive shift, put transmission in neutral. And if we want, we can drop our Jeep down to really low ride height. While we lower our Jeep, we'll put this back in park so we don't roll away. 
Uh, we've got our center console here with all our media controls. It's kind of an interesting angle though. This is flat where a lot of this is on an angle. And uh, it's these buttons kind of cover up some of these lower buttons here for how you change the uh, HVAC system to the different vent settings. We got heated seats. Do we have cooled seats? Oh, we do. You want some air conditioning today? Sure. <laughs> on a super cold day. Yeah, right? It's, uh... <laughs> Crank up the AC on the seats. Three degrees out right now. Is that a screen you have on your side? Yeah, it is. I think the button is right there to turn that on. It's, oh, I believe that it's angled towards the passenger oh, and not so towards the driver. You can't see it. And it also has a coating on it, so from your angle, you can't actually see what's happening. But I can watch Netflix on here if I want to. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> Plug it in an HDMI and... Fire up YouTube? Yeah, you're right. Like, I can't see that screen from this angle. If we come over here... Oh, what do you... Oh, yeah, it's like a, it's like a tablet, so you can flip through deal with the navigation oh we can look at our cameras and uh, we've got a great <laughs> digital dash here all on let's check let's play with some of these buttons so we've got tire pressure oh, bars I don't know what that means tire pressure we've got all of our settings here in the dash this is really slick very nice smooth screen goes through everything very quickly oh I didn't even notice this no wonder we got such good light in here look at along the top we've got full auto open look at the size of the sunroof <laughs> well, we've got a huge sunroof over top of the whole vehicle. Very nice. Oh, who? Hey. What's oh, the sunshade? Oh, we got a whole shade for the roof too. That's kind of dark in here now. Let's keep that open. There you go. You've got a whole panoramic sunroof with shade system. Oh, it opens halfway and we can open it all the way if we want to keep the kids in the back covered from the sun. Yeah, I found the HDMI port. Oh, there! we've got a whole panel hidden under there. So there we go. We've got a spot for our devices. We can stick our phones in there. HDMI for the passenger side. Got some more charging ports, some USB, and an auxiliary in in this hidden... Look at how stealthy that is. All right, let's take it for a drive, Beardo. Let's do it. And uh, give you guys some thoughts and reactions to driving a 4xe hybrid. I'll put my seatbelt on for safety sake let's adjust our power seats and we're already running you can't even tell it's running because it's a hybrid the two liter turbo just kicked on we can hear it spin up and a very long dash on this the front hood on this is quite long and then the dash is really long in front of it sitting quite far back it feels problem aerodynamic ride height achieved oh so it decided to lower itself so i bet if we go into sport does it go into like low rider mode let's take her for a spin very quick hey i noticed you took off quite quickly earlier wow what a different uh driving experience from uh, our off-road vehicles hey <laughs> very smooth much tighter feeling yeah you're gonna get 42 kilometers of uh pure electric range for your daily commutes and then you've got the uh, the gas option for long distance. I think it was saying over 700 uh, kilometers of combination range between the uh, hybrid and the gas engine. And you don't really have to worry about a lift kit because it's got it built in. What I've been thinking about is something for the family uh, when we want to go out and go camping somewhere. We don't want to bring the big off-road Wrangler, but we need to you know, maybe spend an hour driving down a dirt road or a forest road to a cabin or somewhere we might have a trailer where we're gonna go spend the week and uh, hang out. Um, but we want a little bit more luxury for the highway drive portion of the trip. We want a bit more room for the kids in the back and uh, some more room for the cargo. Um, I'm really fascinated by this overland edition of the Grand Cherokee and, and especially having the hybrid. The 4xe lineup is really, uh, I think filling a nice niche both in the Wranglers and in the Grand Cherokee and any future models um, And I hope we see it in the Gladiator soon But it's I think it's really f filling an interesting niche where you can have your off-road vehicle your adventure vehicle for the weekends um, But then your daily commute you're not just completely burning through a ton of fuel every day and that's always been a big problem if You've got to have just one vehicle for adventuring and commuting to work every day is as soon as you start modifying it 
or it's, you know, a larger vehicle like this Cherokee, the fuel economy isn't great. And you put it maybe larger tires, which are a little bit heavier, a little bit more aggressive, give you a little bit better traction, but they're gonna cut down on your fuel economy. And so now you've made this tire selection for your off-road adventures on the weekend, and it's just completely destroying your fuel economy during the week. But if you've got battery powered, you've got the plug-in uh, hybrid electric vehicle, you can uh, kind of have the best of both worlds where you can go out on the weekend, you can get lots of range because it's a hybrid, and you've got the gas two-liter turbo, which is quite peppy, has a lot of, a lot of get up and go, but then every day you're going back and forth to work, you can just plug in at the end of the day, charge up, you're just gonna run off battery power. So now can we set it to just electric? I believe the button is going to be on your left by your knee there. Ah, yes, down here, just like the Wrangler. So we can go to electric only, electric mode temporarily unavailable. Oh, I guess we need to have a certain amount of battery charge in here is probably the problem. We don't have any battery charge. You didn't charge. You didn't charge this up before we had the review. <laughs> so we can't set it in pure electric because uh, electric mode saves fuel for later use. There we go, it just turned off. Okay, let's see. Now we're in, we're in electric mode. So just pure electric. Uh, this says we've got one kilometer of range on the battery, so we can't go very far, but I bet we can uh, punch it and go. There we go, now it's gonna switch over to, to hybrid mode. Now that we've put it on the saver mode, you can really feel the regenerative braking. So when you let off the accelerator, it uh, wants to slow itself down without using any brakes. So it kind of saves on your brakes a little bit, but it's uh, kind of like driving a full electric vehicle as well. Oh, we got floppy paddles back here. Hold to engage manual mode. But this moves with that two liter turbo and the hybrid. And then, uh, yeah, you let off and it immediately decelerates. So it does go up while you're driving. You can modify it while driving. Go up higher. Not permitted due to speed. Oh, I see. So you can only drive so fast at a, at the high ride height. Off-road height achieved. Will it start going down if we start to go too fast? Driving down dirt dirt road, gravel road, you won't be able to drive um, past, it looks like about 50 kilometers. Reduce speed to maintain selected ride height. So as soon as we get over 50 kilometers, it drops it down from its highest highest ride height and then uh, returns back to looks like level four. That is, uh, there's a lot going on in the new 4xe Grand Cherokee, guys. Holy moly. Huge thanks to White Rock Dodge for letting us take out this 2022 Jeep Grand Cherokee 4xe Overland Edition. If you want to go check one out, I'll put a link down in the description to White Rock Dodge. Hit the subscribe button, leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next upload.